already have crazy curly hair like this is wondering what to do for dry hair and looking for some tips or wondering what I'm doing with my hair to grow it out. Who's with me? Trigger warning, if you don't like hair loss, just keep scrolling. Because I will be taking this off and there is no hair underneath there. So if you don't like that, just look away. Perfect, now that everyone is gone, I just washed my hair and I let it air dry maybe a little bit too long. But I'm going to show you the things that I'm using in my hair right now to make it strong, healthy, and manageable. So I've started off with this castor oil on my scalp. Uh, my scalp is really dry. I get contact dermatitis all the time from products, which really sucks. Um, I'm allergic to coconut oil and a few other products. So if anybody knows some really good hair products for girls with curly hair that doesn't have coconut oil, please put it in the comments. Because I need some help using stuff right now with coconut oil in it and I need to find them. And I got that from Winners. This, got this at Sally's. I was using the coil ID, but I'm pretty sure it has coconut oil in it and it's probably bothering my scalp. Growth products and, but I'm not going to get into those today. So first let's try to revive these curls. I don't have a lot of plants today, so I just have some work to do at home. So I don't know if I'm going to be putting on a wig. We'll see. But I love my curls and I just need to find some products to manage them better. Yeah, so if you have any help, any suggestions, please link it below. Girl needs some help dealing with this coily hair without drying it out. I've done a lot of damage to my hair over the years. A lot. Like, as you can see, I've shaved it off for many years. And I want to grow it out and enjoy my curls. Because why the hell not? Why can't I enjoy my own natural hair? Because it bothers other people. It's not living like that anymore. Girl, don't do it to yourself. Don't live with, don't, don't do it. So now I'm going to take the Don't Shrink. This is more like a gel, but it doesn't make my hair super hard. I have quite a bit on my hands. And I'm going to just really work it through my curls. Like that. I have very dry scalp, so if anybody has any suggestions for that, please let me know. So I got all the product on there, and now I'm going to take my little brush, and I like to get it all through the hair. That way I know that each hair strand is saturated with product, and then I can achieve the best curl. I like to let define my curls and then let them air dry like that. But I find it's really important with my curly hair to really get that product through each hair strand just to achieve some pretty beautiful curls. I do have a frontal coming, which I can't wait. I have some hair coming. This is why I test all my suppliers before I put them on my website. I know that they're good. I know what, what product you're going to get. And I know the time frame that you're going to receive it is going to be pretty fast. It's not like waiting on other sites and you wait a month. That's, that's not it here. I tested all my wigs. I know that they're good. 
I know my suppliers are going to send you the best quality product that they can and you're going to get what you pay for. That was my one thing about having a wig company is over the years, I was extremely frustrated with suppliers not giving you what you paid for or what they advertised. And that drove me mad. I spent probably thousands of dollars I'm being light here on hair. I let's let's put it to you this way. I used to buy a new human hair wig every month plus other hair and add it to the to the wig and I was doing that every month. Every month. And my wigs were only looking good for like the first 2 weeks or after the first 2 washes. And who has money to be dropping like that and not happy with their hair like the hair quality sucks these suppliers make you think you're getting the best product and you're not like I have hair coming now that I've been waiting for over a month that should have been here two weeks ago this is why it's important to test your suppliers make sure they are reputable hope i said that right reliable have a good quality and know what you're getting because nobody has money nowadays to waste on products hair that they're not going to last nobody has it it's just it's ridiculous that's why I stopped buying human hair wigs and said, let's see what's out there in the synthetic world. Let's see how long they last. Let's see how they behave. And overall, I've been really happy with my results. So here's my curls. I'm gonna let those air dry. And that way I can have some curly hair like I can't wait until I get my frontal and I can actually have curly hair I haven't worn curly hair since I was probably in grade six <laughs> so I have some learning curbs to deal with and loving myself for who I am is really important Yes, I can still use wigs and stuff to make me feel good and to change up my look. But I also want to wear my own hair out. I want to be able to put my hair up in a ponytail and it look cute, like, and not have the back of the wig lifting. Like, I, I've been through it. I, I've wore wigs for a long time. I am an experienced wig wearer. And mama needs a change. So I'm just going to let this air dry. I'm going to put a little bit of this black castor oil on my scalp just because I'm not going to wear a wig today. So I'm just going to oil my scalp, see if I can get some stimulation through these areas. I don't think these hairs are gonna come back, but girl, I am trying. I am trying, and if you don't like it, you think it's crazy, just don't pay attention to me. But this is for the girlies that are trying to grow their hair, love themselves, need help with wigs, wanna have a good quality wig that was tested, that you didn't just get off of other sites, that you don't know the quality you're gonna get and the quality is important for human and synthetic wigs. That way you get your value for your buck. Very important. <sighs> My hands are so oily, <laughs> I don't even know where to put them. I'm just gonna put this in my hair and put on my scarf.
and I will let my hair air dry some more and I won't touch it so the curls can stay intact. I may stretch the curls out a little bit because shrinkage is real. If anybody knows some really good products, please drop it in the comments. I would love to hear them. I am biracial. I may not look it, um, but we come in many shades and my hair has always been a dead giveaway and I love my hair now. So yeah, so I'm going to let these curls air dry and I'm getting ready to go do some work for you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching and love you.